Mr. Mike, uh, the chief whip of the Senate. Distinguished colleagues, I am Mohamed Alindumi, representing Borno South. I have listened. Most of us have spoken. I don't need to remind us that we are senators. I don't need to also remind us that we are here as brothers and member of the highest body. That's the Senate. We are here having in mind also that we can disagree, but to agree. In fact, it is common in legislation to even go to the extreme, throwing tears because tempers rise. But when it comes to the totality of the image of the Senate, we should be careful. It is not about Ningi now only. If we are talking about Ningi in this room, but it is about all of us outside. This thing has happened. It has happened. And Ningi was wrong. It was wrong. In the first instance, if you all remember, this thing reared its head before. When after presentation of the budget, there were allegations from the North that it was skewed in favor of the South. And the figure was even posted on our platform, the Northern Senators Forum, by Wadada. And I spoke to him this morning. The total capital in there was 8.9 or thereabout. But the total of the said skewedness totaled 15 trillion. And I told them from the word go. This is wrong. So it died down. When we engaged the senators, I mean the consultant, it was agreed by the northern senators. Quite okay. And after that, Kau and uh, Lingi approached me and told me that there are certain things in the budget that were not right. I said, bring it. They said, no. We are going to talk to Senate President, and I should be there. I said, no. If you are sure that the North has been so changed, put the figures down and let's go public. But that was not there. Wait. When you are speaking, I did not interfere. It's so simple now. My chairman wanted to go out yesterday. My chairman wanted to go out yesterday. He called me. We are doing a press conference. I said, on what? He said, on this budget. I said, did you get the details that they are talking about? You said, no. I begged you not to talk. That we are coming here today, get ready with your papers, and put it before our colleagues. He did a wonderful job by even tracing where the so-called three trillion has gone. What I'm expecting from us, please is to move forward. And how do we move forward? I told Ningi in here that he made a mistake. That he should stand up and apologize to us first, then apologize that look, this even figure that I'm looking for 3 trillion is here. I'm sorry for the embarrassment I've called. That is what I'm suggesting. Please, distinguished colleagues, some of us a majority of us are here, new, as we say. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not new because you are 10, ten months old or more. <laughs> All I'm saying. Eh? Look, if I don't forget that I'm the chief. I'll carry with you now. Okay. Why are you not smiling now? I know this is a serious matter. 
but we have gotten to it. Had it been what uh, Ningi said, it's not, it's not even traceable. But it's clear here that the three trillion, if you add it up, is there, and you put it by 25, it gives us the figure. So let us go and tell everybody that, look, three trillion is not missing. And uh, 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 Ningi should apologize. Uh, Ningi has uh, agreed to apply. I approached you, and I said, uh, uh, Ningi will apologize. You said, if he apologizes, chicken. So he's ready to apologize. <laughs> Distinguished uh, 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 colleagues, uh, uh, leader, leader, you, you, you end the debate because please, there's no need for us to talk for that. Let us uh, just hear from uh, my brother Adam Zoshimolo, then uh, leader.